I don't think we can afford to make it technology versus journalism because in the digital world they have to really work together because all of the user experience, the engagement, everything that happens in the digital world is underpinned by technology. So in that sense, I think they have to go hand in hand if you want to succeed. You can no longer expect the audience to come to you just because you have a good story on your website or even on your mobile app. You've got to reach out and find the audience where they live and say, here we are, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or what have you, and make sure that you are read it and, and, and make sure that other news organizations pick up your story. You publish their stories as well and you create a network and people begin to understand what your brand stands for. Kabu was a very nice and peaceful guy and uh, what happened in January in Paris uh, is still a shock for, for both of us. Charlie Hebdo was uh, born uh, under another name in the 60s under the name of Arakiri. So it's a long history. It started in the 60s uh, and they did fight uh, from the 60s until now. There is always reasons to fight for the freedom of expression. Mm -hmm.